when we look at AWS, when we look at, of course, we can talk about whole, you know, OpenAI, um, Microsoft, Google. What difference you see in AWS Gen AI approach versus others? Yeah, it's interesting. Um, you know, as I mentioned, all the hyperscalers started to look alike. Uh, they have a very similar framework, blueprint, approach, strategy, whatever you call. They look very identical. Uh, but what stands out uh, with AWS is, you know, uh, let me pull up my notes. So um, I think Amazon's USP is purpose-built hardware. Uh, they are actually delivering innovation at the hardware level, you know, from AWS Nitro uh, to Graviton to Trainium and Inferentia. Uh, that is a, a very, very important differentiator. And, and what it actually means is uh, when foundation models become mainstream, when customers tend to pre-train models, fine-tune models, the, the price performance ratio that Amazon would be able to deliver with uh, the homegrown hardware is going to be significant. It is going to become way cheaper for customers to fine-tune models and to run Gen AI workloads. Uh, so, so Amazon's secret sauce will move from software to hardware. Uh, that is the biggest differentiating factor. So when customers uh, you know, look at a comparative analysis on how much does it cost to fine-tune a model, to pre-train a model, or to run a model on AWS versus Microsoft versus Google, Amazon is going to look uh, far more cheaper. I think that is going to be one of the differentiating factor. And uh, that is where the hardware innovation comes up. The second one, uh, which is very unlike Amazon, is the choice of foundation models. So Amazon always puts the first party product or a service uh, uh, as, the, as the primary uh, service. Though they adopt a lot of open source, they brand it as a managed service and it becomes a first party service. But for the first time in the history of AWS, I have seen uh, partners getting a lot of attention and Amazon giving enough importance to uh, model providers, whether it is Anthropic, in which, of course, Amazon has invested, uh, and AI21, uh, Stable Diffusion, Cohere. Uh, you know, they basically got all these models and they also got Llama from Meta and they are partnering with Meta. So uh, the, the differentiating factor there is the best of the breed models coming from first party, which is Amazon investing in Titan. Uh, second is the uh, most prominent commercial models in the form of Anthropic, Cloud 2, Jurassic from AI21, or uh, you know, Cohere's command. That is the proprietary uh, choice of foundation models that are available. Third is the collection of open models, you know, whether it is Falcon or uh, uh, Llama or, you know, Mistral eventually. So all of those will become available and uh, this wide range of foundation models and the choice will actually become a key differentiating factor. Third one, which is, again, very unique to AWS and they're going to really uh, capitalize on this is the data gravity. So if you look at S3, uh, Redshift, RDS, Aurora, and a variety of data services that Amazon has, uh, a significant part of the internet data lives on AWS Cloud. Now, they're going to uh, enable Gen AI uh, with all those uh, investments and, and enabling customers to basically bring the data living in all these uh, sources into their applications and their Gen AI applications. And uh, honestly speaking, Amazon hasn't done as much as it needs to do with that, in the sense connecting the dots across various data services and building pipelines to feed the data into Gen AI foundation models. But eventually, that is going to become their biggest differentiating factor because, you know, just like they say, uh, a significant part of internet uh, runs on AWS. A significant part of data lives on AWS and, and enabling customers to consume that data uh, in a very effective mechanism uh, to build foundation models or train foundation models and build Gen AI applications, a key differentiating factor. To summarize, hardware innovation, choice of models, and data gravity. 
Uh, I think those are the key differentiating factors uh, for AWS.